In this short video, I'll be showing you guys how to apply textures onto your avatar or just any assets in your Blender project. The first thing we have to do is just go to our shading tab, go to material view. And in order to turn off our HDRI preview, just drop your overlays and disable it. There you go. Now to apply our textures, we're going to go to our left side into our file browser. If you don't see this menu here, it just means that it's tucked away and just press this little arrow like this and it'll pop out. And I'm going to find my UDB project where all my textures are kept. If you downloaded a asset, just check the zip file that the uh, asset came with that you downloaded from the sort page. Okay, so now that I have found my folder that holds all my textures, I'm going to be applying to my object. I can switch from listed view to thumbnail view so that way I can actually see all my textures. If you pull this up right here, you can now see your shader editor where you'll be applying all your textures to the material. And then in the bottom left, you have a image editor. We are going to switch this to a UV editor. And then we are going to select our object. And as you can see, I already have textures applied, but that's okay. We're just going to delete them. And we are going to drag and drop our base color into our shader editor. And from here, we just plug in our color to base color. Now our base color is applied. And if you have any other maps like metallic maps, as such, go to base color to metallic. If you have any roughness maps, you just do base color to roughness and so-and-so with any other uh, textures you create for your object. Add normal maps if you don't already have this node right here. All you have to do is hit shift A, go to your vector and add a normal map, plug normal into normal. Drag and drop your normal map to your project. Make sure the color space is set to non-color. By default, it'll be set to sRGB. The color into color. Now your normal map is applied. And when it comes to navigating objects with multiple textures, that's okay. You just scroll up and we have our material library up here. And all you have to do is just click through and change whatever material we'll be applying our textures to. Now, if there's a lot of textures in your project and let's say you have like 30 different eye textures and they all look different, they all are kind of shaped differently. And you don't know which eye textures are uh, used on your model and spending the time to finding which ones are the correct ones. Uh, might take a while. All you have to do is just go to edit mode onto your mesh. Select the part of the object that you're trying to find the texture for. Select the vertices, hit control L. So then you can just select that entire piece of mesh. And in your UV editor, you can see how UV layout of your object is. And then you can dig around your files and find a corresponding texture that matches up with your UVs. So as you can see here, the UV of the eye mesh lines up with this eye texture properly. So that way I know that this eye texture is the one I'll be using. If you don't already have a texture that's in here, all you have to do is just drag and drop it from the file browser into the UV editor and it will just be applied automatically. So that way you can just check each texture to see if they line up properly. Then once you do find your texture that you're looking for, just drag and drop it into your shader editor and then plug it in into the base color and you're good. Now, when you're working with transparent materials like eyebrows, hairs, or even fishnets, the material settings are a little bit different. If you're in cycles, all you have to do is just scroll down. You find your viewport display. And from here, you can change your blend mode from opaque to alpha blend or alpha hashed. Essentially, what this does, it'll change the shader type so that way if you apply an alpha map to an object and you switch it to alpha blend your object will not be transparent and to apply any alpha maps onto a material all you have to do is just go back up to the correct material drag and drop your alpha map in and plug in the color to alpha node and if there's no base color, that's okay. You can just change the base color to whatever you need it to be. Have a transparent texture onto your object. Now, if your textures are looking weird, like if they're just not showing up or if they look like they're causing any mesh behind it to be transparent as well, 
go ahead and try toggling the show back face or back face culling on and off to see if that will fix any of your issues. In most cases, you want to have back face culling off and show back face enabled. Another reminder, if you have trouble looking for your alpha maps, just remember they will always be black and white images, like just like this down here. And they will always be labeled transparent or alpha or OP map as they should be. If they are not named and not organized, then that is not your fault. That is on the creator. Now, if you're working with clothes that have transparency or rips on them, or at least from the thumbnails, and you look around and you don't see an alpha map, and you just see a bunch of base colors with a transparent background, all you have to do is just go and find your texture. I can drop your base color into your shader editor, plug the color into base color. And then instead of having an alpha map, we just plug the alpha into the alpha slot, just like this. And then we make sure our uh, material settings are set to alpha clip. And now we have the seam effect as if we were using an alpha map, but instead we're just using a base color with a transparent background. Remember, this method only works if the background of your texture is transparent, not if it's just black or like a solid color. It needs to be see-through in order for this to work because if there is no image data, then that means there's nothing being rendered on your actual object. And with that, stay creative and don't burn yourself out.